Hello everyone, welcome back. We are finally back in the game Stone Hearth and today we are gonna bring a new adventure and we get a lot of new hearthings here. So we will have four of them open for grabs and today I actually decided to name one of our people a Banto here which seems to have another twin Tristan Heart here. So if you guys have name suggestions as always feel free to drop them out and I will be naming Harfling after you guys. And if you're a member in the channel as well I will keep a few slots in the long run available for YouTube members. But uh, all of them will never be locked to only members. But if you are a member, you will have a little bit of extra priority for naming. Yes, you guys know. But we are here. Uh, I decided that we should play some with Ascendancy today. So we're moving outside here in this wilderness and we're playing with the latest Ace version. The stable that is. And uh, we got these new nut trees which is pretty awesome we can get some early on food from that that's pretty awesome and I also decided to settle down in um, a pretty nice area I would say we're pretty much surrounded by a lot of mountains here from all around and I went for normal map size today because I feel like the generation for this normal green landscape it's um it's, it is not the best I would say like it has very little detail if you don't go for normal sized map so for that reason we went for a little bit of a bigger or, I guess, a normal sized map, I suppose. A strange bird. An odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak, stamped with official seal of ascendancy. Dear Expedition 138, I hope this letter finds you well. By my guess, you've liked to set up a camp by now. As your capital liaison, it is my honor to preside remotely over the official founding of your outpost. I trust that you had an ample time to choose the name for your journey? Founding. As you know, every new settlement must choose a banner. This banner reflects your spirit and vision, uniting factor which brought the expedition together. What future did you foresee when you embarked on a quest for township? Hold in your mind a vision that your town will one day be. Your banner will set that course, but it's up to you to finish it. Choose well, my friends. I eagerly await your reply. Yours, Mer Birdhands. Thank you, thank you. So now we have the decision between banners and I feel like the banner I want to go for is the same that I always go for. Which is the banner of cunning because this will make your harfings move fast on roads. It will sell items for more money and the merchant will also bring more goods and gold. So this is definitely my favorite. The banner of strength, you, if you guys wonder, will give 50% more for mining. So you get more ore, stone and clay, and harfling do not mind cramped in environments, so if you make a lot of small houses and make it really cramped or if you want to live like inside of a cave, the banner of strength could be good. Like for the dwarves, I could imagine that that would be pretty cool when, uh, whenever that's going to come for Ace in the future. Then we have the banner of vitality. This uh, increase increases the amount of wood you get from chopping down trees. Plants and crops grows faster and plants have two times the normal appeal. But I feel like the Banner of Cunning is the most useful because with uh, this one you will be doing better trading. With trading you can get most of the stuff that these have. For example, we can buy ore or stone or clay or if you need that. The same with crops. So let's go Banner of Cunning. What name should we have today? Should it be a new Kingdom of Bentonia? Maybe it should be. Is that the too long name? The Kingdom of Bentonia? The new Kingdom of Bentonia. Let's go for that, guys. Our outposts are established. Very, very nice. Three times the speed on roads. Item sells for more. And more goods and gold. Very nice. And I haven't really played this game in a long time. I, I played a town before that we did on YouTube videos. But unfortunately that town like is running really, really bad. Like it's I think I have around 15 frames per second. So I felt like I, I just had to quit that one, I had so many error messages, so... It felt like it was time, guys, for our fresh starts. That's why I also had a little bit of a break from Stoneheart, so... I will come back with new energy for this game, right? Which is very nice, I love this game, I love it, it's very nice. So let's see, we do have some nuts trees here. Let's go and harvest these. Because they only grow certain seasons, if I remember correctly, and it might be different depending on the tree. An older, stronger tree will bear nuts through summer and autumn. Okay, so summer and autumn, that's when you can get those. That's pretty nice. The bird squawks. 
You're not sure how you missed it before, but the bird is wearing a tiny backpack. It contains a note which reads a little something to help you celebrate along with free peasant bread, one mead, one roast sausage, free corn bread, two mumu milk and two ale. Sounds very nice, thank you. All the messenger bird scurries off with official settlements founding declaration in the beak, carrying in a vague direction, carrying in a vague direction of the capital. That's pretty nice. Let's harvest a little bit of these stones. That should be good. And we're gonna make some um, some new houses for this town. So for this town, we are gonna go a little bit. I would say probably a little bit more kind of medievalish instead of Vikingish, which we have done lately. I thought of going for uh, some Vikings again, just because I really really like that style. But I also like the style that I sometimes do for the ascendancy, so I hope you guys are gonna like it. But we need someone out that's gonna be our first, like, carpenter. So I might go for Ilwin Bell Tower. Let's go for him. You could probably have been a good soldier, though. Hmm. Let's go for Norsa Inverse. Let's go for her. Looks like I also got a Mason and Shizzle. I guess it was the loadout. I don't think I've seen before that I've gotten like the Mason at the beginning because normally you have to go Carpenter and then Mason, right? That was kind of weird. So we should also have a sword and I wonder if I should be... A first soul. We'll get it later. We need a farmer so we can produce some food. Maybe I can be the farmer. And then later I could be a cook. Because the stats we have here for Banto. Is pretty nice. Because he will level fast. And he's going to need that if it's going to be two different professions. Because the more profession levels you have, the slower you're going to level. So it's going to be very, very useful. If I'm going to be a farmer, then I'm going to end up as a cook. And then I will have... My blue stat, our spirit, which he had, uh, let's see, five. And that will improve the chance of high quality crafts, which means that I will be having higher chances to produce better food, which would be pretty awesome, both for people feeling happy and also we can do it for trading, we can sell it, and so that's pretty nice as well. So uh, I don't really like this stockpile to use it, and I recommend people to not use it too much, but in the very, very, very beginning you might use it, just for a brief period of time. And uh, what you can also do, actually, if you don't want them to go and move from there, kind of pointless task is to, like, drag it over your current stockpile. See if you can make that bigger, I think the, yeah, that one is blocking it. So we're just gonna move these, pretty much. I'm gonna move them over there. Then we're just gonna make a big stockpile over this area because if you drag it over this one, it will actually count that everything is stockpiled. So we don't have to move it another time for no good reason at all. So there we go. A lot of full with stuff there. Very nice. And that we can probably also do if you want to, like for this. But uh, I really kinda maybe want to move it over here. So let's put on our first little tents here. We got some Nord tents. So basic place for people in the beginning. So we can settle down camp. So free tents for us. Very nice. And we have so many berries here. So that should be good both for uh, some future drinks and also some early on food. I'm gonna pop down a few more. There we go. So let's get our carpenter to work. So he's gonna get his little workbenches. And I like to queue them up all three of them, because when we reach level 3, we will make the tool bench and I already have that queued up, so that's nice, so we don't have to return too often. I'm gonna make a few uh, benches, I might make four of them. Outdoor seating for moments of relaxation, so that should be good when you wanna eat or something like that. But I also wanna make some like basic beds, and I'm just gonna make like, uh, let's say six of those, should be good enough. Then another thing I like to do is to pretty much make one, at least one of each tool. So we would do one like for the fisher, then weaver, then one for footman. One for farmer, one for herbalist, one for mason we don't have to do because for some reason we have a mason and chisel. And archer's bow, 
That one can wait with Shepherd's Crook. I guess we can queue that one out. And uh, the Beast Tamer Flute, if we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that sometime later on. This is normally for the Goblins, but you can actually use this for uh, your normal Harflings as well. And the skills actually change a tiny, tiny bit when you have it with like the Ascendancy or the Northern Alliance and stuff like that. It actually changes a few of the skills, which is pretty cool. So um, let's start with making some storage because we're going to have to store all these things. When you have berries and carrots and all that stuff sitting around like that, it's going to get rotten. But if you do have this storage here, then uh, it will not go rotting in inside these boxes. And a really cool thing if you're using Ace with the Stone Hearth, which I highly recommend to use because it fixes a lot of things, but it also adds a lot of things. And one thing they have added is that if you hold on Shift and then you click the craft here, it will go to the top as you can see the little green thing there. So that means that that will be put first in queue, which is pretty awesome. So I want to make sure I make them as fast as we can when we have some more wood. So we want to start to chop down a few of these trees. And we're playing normal mode by the way, so it's not going to be too hard. So if we re-embark later with this town, which is a thing when you reach a certain point in the game, you can re-embark, you can bring normally three people with you, but I have a mod so we can bring five people. And uh, then we, we can restart the game, make a new town, and then we can go with like hard mode after normal mode and be a little bit more prepared because hard mode is quite a lot harder than the normal mode. Quite a lot harder. I guess we don't really have to plant any trees back yet because we still have so many. So let's see if we can do some basic houses here. And I also added a few new mods which I'm really really happy that they are back in the game. Those mods uh, were made by Kitty and uh, Kitty Doom. And uh, it's some color mods, so instead of having your basic colors, you have a lot more colors. And you can find them in the Steam Workshop. It should be called like re-uploaded colors, something like that. So we got Bloodwolf Piff Spooky, so spooky colors. So all kinds of different colors, some for like clay and some for wood and some for stone. And we also do have a category for fiber and that's because we have uh, the Goblin mod activated. We're not playing goblins, but we can still acquire like goblin decorations and such, so that's pretty cool. So for this house, I think we're gonna go for an... Um, let's go for a darker wood color. And then for the columns, let's go pretty dark as well, like cocoa brown. Should be nice, I kinda like these colors. And we might want to make the floor interesting. I'm gonna change the floor on the inside here, so let's go to floor and... We're going to be able to make some nice floor now that we have so many more colors. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and uh, do some coloring here. So I like to use kind of similar colors when I do things. Just try to kind of find some sort of pattern. So there we go, we got some pattern going on there. Uh, we got a daily update. So we do not beat that one. We haven't really built anything yet. That's looking good. Um, let's see so we have our people doing things. I really don't like to pause the game. Like if you play in hard mode, it can be very worth to do pausing. But I kind of like things to progress while we're kind of doing things. So this would be the lower floor. I wonder if I want to make it more advanced or not. We don't want to make like it too advanced because this will be our like first house. But I do prefer to do like two store houses. I generally don't like single store houses. I don't know why. I just think the roof can look kind of weird depending on what kind of style you're going for. So let's start with um, recoloring the outside here. We're going to get the same colors. But I'm gonna keep the main color like that so we don't have to recolor that by hand and instead we just recolor around here. We do something like that and uh, then we do a little bit of uh, overhang thing there. So I guess I have to recolor it again. So we will see, I might have to <laughs> do a little bit of recoloring. I thought it would actually follow me out when I did that. But that actually kind of looks nice with the color like that anyway, but we do have the color on the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. A 
this something like that. So there we go guys, I think that looks pretty nice. We do need to have a door, so um, we do have four different options. This one is the probably one of the ones I go for the most, I kind of like that one. But maybe today we could do different, the wooden door with the peephole. Let's try if we go over that one, that looks pretty nice, right? That's looking pretty good, I think. Hope you guys like it. So another thing I do sometimes is that um, add kind of like some um, stone at the bottom, like the two or three tiles at the bottom. So I'm gonna try some kind of stone color, but maybe not the original stone stone color. Let's try like this one. Might be a little bit too bright. Charcoal, uh, maybe carbon. I think these colors kind of mend together pretty nicely. So let's go for free. It's gonna do pretty nice. And then we can take this color and just go like this. Something I like to do like that, give a little bit more texture. But the one thing when it comes to building, if you want to build things fast, you do not want to mix too much with stone and wood. Because uh, it changes how their AI will be building a house. So mixing like I'm doing right now is uh, definitely going to slow down the house building quite a bit. But uh, personally, I don't really care too much about it. I care more about uh, the end result of it, pretty much. So go, let's go ahead and mix in a few textures. It always looks better instead of having just one big solid color. It looks kind of boring, right? I'm just going to go a little bit random. I don't like to go for like a certain pattern where I will go like this all the way for everything. So a little bit of randomness is always nice. Something like that. I think that looks pretty awesome. That color room goes together very nice. I'm really happy that Kitty I re-uploaded his color mod. So happy to see it back. So uh, let's see then. Uh, before we do a roof, I definitely feel like we should look into the possibility of finding our staring house. Because that's quite important. And since we're using um, Wouter's Nordling mod, which adds a bunch of different things, but the one thing it adds is some fireplaces and uh, they let uh, you heat up so harflings can go there when they need to get warm. And you can also have a very, very cozy smoke coming out of it, so that's pretty, pretty nice. So we want to figure out where we want to have it, and I normally prefer to have it at, kind of at the side and far in, far in the back. So I'm thinking this corner could be good. So before we do any stairs or anything, we're pretty windows. We're gonna make some kind of like a chimney. And let's try to use the same colors we had uh, down there this time. It's kind of nice to make some new colors. And what do you guys think, by the way, for um, for this like uh, when it's getting closer to Christmas? Would you guys like to like see us do like a sort of like a Christmas town? I did that I think like two years ago or something like that. Uh, it was pretty fun, I must say. So if you guys are interested in that, I'm definitely up for doing so. And I hope that the mod still works, whatever the mod name is again. Frost Feast. I hope that one works, because that one has like a lot of nice decoration we can use. So that's looking pretty nice, but we don't need to go further than this because 
when we select different blocks, you can tag them like, I want this to be blocks, I want this to be a roof or wall. But I find that it's almost easier if we wait at this point, make the roof, and then later we will tag them. Because if I drag this up now and then I make a roof, everything this combined with the roof is going to be counted as a roof. And that means when I click this one, everything is just going to go invisible. And that's not what I'm after. So let's find the stair. That should be the next one after I just do a little bit of coloring. Something like that. Just a tiny little spot there. That will be where the fireplace is going to be sitting later. It's going to be nice. And I'm not sure that we will add so much decoration inside of the house. We might be doing that later on. So finding where the stair is going to be. I feel like that's always sort of hard for me to find where I want to have it. So it doesn't block too much. I wonder if we should do one of those like that curves a little bit. They take a little bit less space. You have them like turning. So we can do one in stone, for example. So that means it goes in this corner instead of going like straight like this. So really depending on what kind of house you make, it will fit different good. But it looks pretty good with stone. We might want to like drop another under this. To make it look a little bit stronger. I guess we might as well cover this hole, like that. So that should be pretty nice. And if we would have wanted to, we could also... Let's see how that looks. If we... Let's go back here. If we want to make a wall here. But if I feel like often when I make walls, it's better to use the block tool for making walls. Because then it, it will not hide really weird and stuff. Then we can just have a tiny, tiny little wall that will go up here. So it will be like that. And we can still have something there if we want to. Or we can just cover the entire thing. It really depends on how we want to build it. But I feel like I might want to have it maybe open. Let's see if we remove one more there. And then we're probably gonna um, do some recoloring. Let's try some stone, like... Okay, that's not gonna go good with stairs. So, probably wanna go into this color. And we can do something like that. And it could be a little storage here. We might have, like, like a storage box or something, a little bigger one. Could be sitting there. We can add, like, two small ones for now. That will be a little bit of storage down there. Or it could be a corner if you like to have some animals and they can go there and eat their food in that corner. That can also be possible, right? But for now we're gonna remove that because adding decoration, depending on how you want to do it. If you want to build it faster, you shouldn't do like many decoration because decoration is one of the things that might take the longest if you haven't already like pre-crafted everything pretty much. So to get in here then, go up for the stairs, and this would be like where to sleep. And I feel like we definitely should have this like at a two-man house. And I'm gonna add the just basic beds, so it's oops, so it's gonna be pretty easy to do this one. Well oh, that was really laggy. So then we're gonna have one here and maybe one at the other side, like so. Maybe one with a wooden dresser but in between them would be nice. I wonder if I want to have it right next to the wall. Let's have it in the corners like that. And we can have one for each bed instead. It's looking pretty nice. And fireplace will go there later. So I feel like this is looking pretty nice. We shouldn't go too advanced. But I'm already kind of doing so. <laughs> and when people are just, can we get houses Bento? I want to have a house to live in man. So let's maybe just have the game pause a while, so we don't miss too many of the daily updates. So for making a roof here, I kind of like to use the three standing walls, then I drag them both up with the both selected. And I wonder what kind of roof. Do we want to make pointer roof or do we want to make slopey, slower sloped roof? I kind of prefer to do pointer roofs. So if we go up kind of not so fast first, then when we start to get middle we go up a little bit faster 
and this will uh, make it me more pointy when you're doing that like one step and then suddenly you do two steps that makes it a little bit more pointy so something like that looking pretty nice very nice so I'm really happy that we have this color mod because it has a lot of beautiful colors so these are for example new very nice red colors I used them before very nice I'm kind of leaning towards the blood wood. I don't know why, it kind of looks pretty cool. Let's see us first, what kind of more colors do we have? We're not gonna bother with clay because uh, that's gonna be too troublesome for now. We also do have like spooky purple colors, which is nice for Halloween and stuff. And I do like these colors, the orange uh, one called Sweet Potato. These greens are also pretty cool. And this purple is pretty awesome. What do you guys think if I do a purple roof? Would that destroy the entire house? Like it would be would be kind of fun if we did it differently. One tool I really really miss in this game is definitely to have a uh, paint bucket. So I could like change all the connected colors that are the same color to a new color. So that way we can like recolor roofs and stuff for like really really fast. That's something I really wish we had. That looks pretty cool. Maybe that fits for Halloween as well. And another thing I sometimes do that I kind of like to do is to when you get the down to this step, you just remove one. That will make it kind of curve a little bit more. And uh, maybe I haven't really tried this, but you could also perhaps. Makes it goes out one extra step when you come to a certain point, or like maybe at the just the very top. But I normally do it here at this step. Just remove one. Okay, let's go into this one and let's see what kind of color bloodwood, the one we were supposed to have before. I'm probably not gonna use this one. This one might look kind of weird with purple. So there's many ways also to do the roofs. So this is like one way you could do it. If you want to, you can just go simple like this. Or you can like drag it on top of it, like that instead. There's so many ways to do it. You can also drag it down, maybe you want to have it down instead of it going extra up. That's another way, I guess. But yeah, there are so many ways that you can do roofs. And roof really, I would say the roofs really, really changes the entire house outlook. Okay, so I'm not gonna use that color. I could think about this one, the Bloodwood Bark, spooky. Bit of a darker color, quite not as red as the other one. pretty nice and then we want to have in the center we do something like that and uh, since we're not doing a viking if i would do viking i would probably do something like this along the entire roof because i think it looks pretty nice but since we're not doing viking we probably shouldn't do that right But I might do something like that, looks pretty nice. So if we are happy with this, uh, we want to tag this to be a roof, so we can hide it, like so. And that's when we can drag up our chimney, and I can see here, and then we have to drag it down, so it's not going to be too tall. Something like that should be good enough for the chimney, and some cozy smoke is going to come out of that. Uh, but we do have to remove uh, some of the roof here. And then when we look through here, then it's gonna be looking like there's holes. There aren't actually holes there, but it looks like there is. 
because they're kind of using the same block space, but we can like just drag it up there and that should have fixed it. So no more holes, everything is looking good. And uh, let's see here if you want to try to mix this a little bit, instead of having just the same colors everywhere. Can even throw in some brighter color at some spot at the top, maybe? So, something like that. But it do look a little bit too bright, perhaps. So something like that looks pretty good. So let's see, how do we want to color this part? Like we could change this one if we wanted to, um, to a brighter one. I feel like these are the windows that we're going to be using. It's going to look pretty nice. And if we want to, we could do something like a little... Another space up here, I think it's called Attic or something like that, where we can like store some stuff. So that could be a possibility if we want to do so. Because we could have some like storage boxes and stuff like, yeah, stuff like that up there. So we could do something like this. But then we also need a way like to get up to this, so that's that's one of the issues as well. And we are coming up here with the stairs, so we want to remove so we can actually get up, right? And do need to have three in height, so that is looking pretty good. Should be fine. And uh, we're actually going to not go that far. Let's see, we just want to have that one. So that should be nice. A little bit further away from the beds, that should be good. So to get up to this one, that's a thing that I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do. There are some ladders we could use to get up there at points where we want to get up there. But I feel like for now we're just going we're just gonna skip doing that part. Then later if we want that for another house for more storage we will do so. And uh, I see also we can't have this window here because uh, we have the chimney sitting there. So we would have to like move them perhaps here in the middle. And we could do the same for this one. So we'll push them together like that. They are a little bit closer in the back though. We could have them differently if we want to. Or the back windows could be up there. Even I in some nice sunlight there, that should be good. So these sides so far looks, um, I would say, kind of boring, right? Something like that's looking pretty nice. Then we might want to have some lantern at top there to light up a little bit. So I feel like that looks pretty nice. I hope you guys like it. I feel like we are pretty much ready with it. Like we could do maybe some more things, but like we, like I said, we don't want to like make make it too overkill. So we're just gonna leave it as it is for now. Hope you guys like it and. It's hard to restrict yourself from not doing more though, because I feel like maybe that would be nice. Yeah, that's gonna make this wall look a little bit more interesting. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Hope you guys like the building. I feel like we're ready to do our first house. Super simple, super small. <laughs> so that's just what happens sometimes. You just start to make things. And do let me know if there's any interest to, to get the buildings from this, and I will gladly share it later on. 
can share it probably as we upload it, but let me know if you guys would like them. But yeah, we're building our first house, guys. And uh, this is actually then gonna be our first episode of the game. Like, we haven't gotten so far, but we did get a house going. I hope you guys like how it looks, and I'm looking forward to build this. We've been away from Stoneheart for a long time. So it's gonna be interesting to build a town here, and I feel like I might wanna go for a purple roof theme for this town. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode with Stoneheart. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified. And I will see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, and don't uh, forget to request your names in the game, guys. So thanks for watching, and see you soon.